a horizontal beam with blocks above, which is 4,000 4, newtons and 2,000 newtons, C and D. Now, I will just write it as a free body diagram. So here we have a beam, and this block has a weight of 4,000 newtons. This is for block C. And we have another block here, block D, which has a weight of 2,000 newtons. Now, normally, if there is a beam and a block, we have what we call the reaction. The reaction is known as the normal force. So this is the normal force, the reaction of the beam. So we call this the normal force of the beam. So I assume that the reaction here is the normal force. So the reaction of the beam is called the normal force. Since this is at the rest, therefore, the normal force or the normal force of the beam is equal to the weight of C plus the weight of D. So for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, a third law of motion. So therefore, this is 4,000 plus 2,000. That would be, I'll just go directly to 6,000 newtons. So we have 4,000 plus 2,000, 4,000 plus 2,000. We have 6,000 newtons. But this normal force, according to the problem, which is a rare, rare uh, type of problem, this normal force is equally distributed along point A and point B. So point A has a force and point B is twice that force. According to the problem, um, the B is twice as great as the air action produced in A. So therefore, the normal force has a distributed force of F and 2F. So if you add F and 2F, this should be equal to 6,000. Or simply, an F, a 3F is equal to 6,000. So one force is equal to 2,000 newtons. So this is, let's just use another color, this is 2,000 newtons and 2,000, 4,000, so two times. Yeah. So this would be our diagram. This has an reaction force of 2,000 newtons going up, this is going down, a weight of 4,000 newtons. And a weight, again, of 2,000 newtons. And this has a reaction force of pataas above a 4,000 newtons. Noble. Okay. Now, according to the problem, they are at rest. So if we say at rest, it means the summation of torque, they are in equilibrium. The summation of torque is equal to zero. So the formula of torque is force times the distance. So let's say, let's start here. So for A, the force A and the distance of A from this point is zero plus minus, since it's going down, the force of C distance from a is x minus the force of d which has a distance from a as x plus one and we have plus because it's going up force of b which is 5. It's not obvious here, but this is 5. Because the distance from A to B is 5. 
that should be equal to 0. Force times their distance r should be equal to 0. So the summation of all those forces. So this would be 0. This would be negative 4,000 x. This would be negative 2,000 times x plus 1. And this is 4,000 times 5 is equal to 0. So let's solve this. This will be 4,000, negative 4,000 x minus 2,000 x minus 2,000 plus 4 times 5, that's 20,000, is equal to 0. So this is 6, negative 6,000 x. Let's move everything to the other side. That would be a negative 20,000 minus 2,000, that would be eight, 18, negative 18 newtons so x here you divide it by 6,000 x here is equal to divided by 6,000 divided by 6,000 divided by 6,000 is 3 3 meters so this is our answer letter